Hello there and welcome to another Tapforms for Mac video tutorial. Today I'm just going to be going over the uh, menu bar briefly, kind of getting you up to speed on what is there. Alright, uh, starting off we've got the main Tapforms menu here. The main part of this menu is the uh, preferences in which you can reset your dialogue warnings, which basically just means that say I'm in one of my forms here and I want to delete a record and there's this little checkbox can check it to, to say that I don't want to see that message again so the next time I delete something it just goes straight away. But then if I decide that uh, I would like that to show up again I just click reset and that dialog box will continue to show up. Security you can tell the program to automatically lock after a set number of minutes and of course there's encryption you can set your key and all of that good stuff. Then you've got just some basic maintenance functions I'm not really gonna go into detail on any of these but just so you know they're there, here they are. And moving on, we've got the uh, file menu here in which you can uh, import and export records so that you can uh, you know, share them amongst uh, friends, family members, coworkers, whoever needs them. I'm gonna go into greater detail about these functions in another video. As well, you can import and export form templates. So if you watched my other video, uh, I created this movie library form so if you'd like a way to, you know, share this form with all of your uh, pre-made fields, you can use the uh, form template importing and exporting. And then you've got your backup, your restore. Uh, next, there's edit, which is just your basic edit menu, copy, cut, paste, everything, you know. And under the view menu, you can easily here switch between all forms and my forms. It's basically just this here. And as you can see, there are uh, keyboard commands to go along with it. So you can just switch back and forth. As well, there's the columns drop-down here, which is just for managing these uh, the columns over here. So if I decide I don't want that digital copy column to show up, it hides it. It does not delete it, however, because you can easily come back in here and just have it show up again. Under the Forms menu, it's pretty much what you'd expect. You've got creating a new form, editing a form, duplicating and deleting basically just kind of the buttons you've got down here and of course they've all got keyboard uh, shortcuts to go along with them in the records tab uh, it's the same idea you've got new record duplicate record delete record and go to which basically allows you to cycle between next record previous record first last you can just go there and then you've got your tools menu which is basically uh, this right here so you've got edit categories which is just your categories Edit pick lists, which are your pick lists. And then just got window. And that's about it. So I hope you found this helpful, and uh, I will see you next time.